Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. Today we are going to continue our story about TSP32 S3 uh, Touch LCD display. And as you know, in this mini series we are dealing with around uh, 1.28 inches display. This is the code from our uh, previous episode where I show you the simplest of ways uh, to deal with graphics. But as you know, this device has touch screen functionality too. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to combine graphics with touch screen functionality. So first, I'm going to uh, use my Firefox in order to navigate to this uh, WaveShare website and to ESP32 S3 uh, Touch LCD 1.28. Uh, scroll down and here you're going to find uh, this table with parameters. Uh, what I'm interested in to now is this touch chip. As you can see, I'm using uh, CST816S uh, chip. I'm going to copy uh, this chip name. I'm going to open my Visual Studio Code again. Uh, platform IO Home uh, with libraries and I'm going to search for this library. Let me see. Well, I'm going to use this one. Add to project. Yeah, it's here. All right, I have my library now. I don't need the platform IO anymore. And in here, I'm going to modify uh, this code. Let me see. Uh, okay, I'm going to delete this part. We are not going to need it. TFT begun, it's okay. And now I'm going to include this library. So it's CST. 816s all right and now i'm going to create that object cst81 okay i have it i'm going to call it touch and now we should uh, provide uh, i square uh, c pins and in order to find i square c pins i'm going to get back to that website and in this table you can find it well, uh, these uh, pins with uh, TP are uh, pins uh, for I square C. And first that we need it's uh, SDA and SCL. So uh, SDA it's uh, six, SCL it's seven. So I'm going to add those numbers first. So six comma seven, but we need additional two, uh, reset and interrupt. Let me check. Uh, TP interrupt is 5 and reset is 13. So we should write 13 and 5. 13 and 5. So once again, be very careful. If you miss these numbers, your device is not going to work. And I'm going to add one more line in, in here. Touch, we are going to initialize uh, this touch screen functionality and in here we are going to uh, check first if touch it's available so if uh, we don't touch our screen i don't want anything to happen okay in here first what i'm going to check sometimes a touch event uh, is going to happen twice so i'm going to write code in order to uh, prevent that but i'm going to need uh, two more variables uh, int x equals zero and int y equals zero two all right so if x equals touch data x in this way we are going to uh, get uh, coordinate of our touch and y equals touch data y so if we uh, read the same data twice we are not uh, going to react second time all right and now I'm just going to move this piece of code in here. No. 
So what I want to do when I press uh, some place on my screen, I want uh, to uh, print this uh, circle on that exact place. All right. So with fill circle, we are going to uh, take uh, data uh, from our uh, touch event and we are going to use it to set it uh, to set coordinates uh, for our uh, fill circle function. But before that, what we have to do, we have to uh, change uh, values of our X and Y. So X is going to be uh, what's wrong touch data X and y is going to be touch data y all right quite simple i'm going to build this code and i'm going to upload it Okay, picture it's not uh, the best, but you have idea. Okay, I'm going to press some other place. All right. So guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new and interesting and see you next episode. Story about graphics and uh, this device, it's not over yet.